Jamal, uh, Club Person of the Year, it's a pretty prestigious award and I'm sure it's something you're pretty proud to take home. Yeah, obviously I'm um, very shocked um, to receive it, but something that I'll be pretty grateful for, obviously at the moment, still a little bit buzzing that I've got it, but I'm sure you know, once it all wears off and to have a little trophy that I, that I keep, um, I'll hang that in the house somewhere and look back on it and, and you know, to think in five years' time, ten years' time when I'm not playing footy, to think that I've had a pretty good impact in the community here will be something to you know, look back on and be pretty proud of. We've talked about this on numerous occasions, but the work that you do in the community is something that you're very passionate about and you love doing. Is it, um, does it, does it uh, you know, getting something like this, I know it's something, something you um, try to achieve, but I'm sure it's a nice moment. Yeah, I think it, that's probably the best way to sum it up, a nice moment. You don't do stuff in the community to get recognised or in awards like this because I think it's a pretty selfless thing to be able to go out there. You're not getting like we're not getting paid for it, but you know whether you're out there for an hour or so, two hours, at the end of the year it adds up and um, to be away from your family and that, I, th I think that's probably a nice way to sum it up. It's just it's nice, I guess. You've been here for two years. What does the club mean to you in terms of... Um, how it's embraced you and how you've embraced Canberra and the community. Yeah, I love it, um, the pe especially the people here. Um, great people. They've been so accepting of me, Carl's, and the two girls, and um, just the way that they've embraced our family and that we can be ourselves. You know, We don't have to try and pretend to be someone else when we go and meet people. We can actually be ourselves. We're a little bit scallywagged and stuff like that. So um, it's good. Yeah, it just feels real natural, to be honest, if that's probably another good way to sum it up. Jammer, there's obviously a lot more to life than football, but what is it about sort of that, that sort of off, off the field stuff that you get such a kick out of and that's sort of, you know, I guess pushing you along in life? Yeah, well, little story. Um, my old girl, when I was about, we never had a car growing up, so. When I was about seven, she had a little piece of a brain tumor removed um, in her head and it affected the way that she walked. So um, for us to get groceries and stuff, we had people in our hometown that would come around every Tuesday and pick us up before school and take us to do our groceries. And even though they don't know the impact that they had on us when we were little kids, that's something that I still remember now, you know, nearly 20, 20 odd years down the track. And just how much of an important role they played for me, um, it's something that I know if I go out and can make someone smile or whatever, hopefully that can make a difference to them and they can carry that with them.